The recession seems to have been swept under the rug, especially if you tune in to mainstream financial media. The stock market is on the rise, and there's a general sense of optimism. However, when we delve into the fundamental data about the economy, a different story emerges. In this video, we'll dissect the looming recession and the significant economic challenges ahead. Concerns in the Banking Sector Let's start with the alarming trend of bank CEOs offloading their shares. Figures like Jamie Dimon from Chase are selling millions of shares, echoing a lack of confidence. It's not just Dimon, even the chief risk officers and bank presidents are parting ways with significant portions of their holdings. The financial sector isn't faring well either, as evidenced by the downturns in Citigroup, Capital One, Charles Schwab, Bank of America, and Citizens Financial Group. Moreover, we've witnessed the collapse of smaller banks like Citizens Bank in Iowa, hinting at more failures to come. These smaller banks, laden with losses, especially in commercial real estate loans, face imminent challenges as assets remain underwater. The Federal Reserve's Dilemma one might expect the Federal Reserve to intervene by lowering interest rates, restarting quantitative easing, or bailing out the economy. However, history suggests otherwise. Every time the Fed has adjusted interest rates due to economic distress, a recession has followed suit. This cyclical pattern underscores the complexities of the Fed's interventions and their potential repercussions. Household Debt Crisis it's not just the banks and the Fed. American households are grappling with their own financial woes. Household debt has skyrocketed to a staggering $17.29 trillion, with non-housing debt accounting for a substantial portion. Student loans, credit cards, and auto loans collectively contribute to this burden, with credit card interest rates exceeding 20%, exacerbating the problem. Delinquencies are on the rise, with interest payments surpassing $500 billion for the first time. Despite employment growth reflected in company reports, the household survey paints a different picture, revealing that much of the employment increase is due to individuals taking on multiple jobs. Furthermore, unemployment rates are poised to rise, compounding the challenges faced by households already drowning in debt. In conclusion, the signs of an impending recession are glaring. From the banking sector's distress to the mounting household debt crisis, the economic landmark appears bleak. It's imperative for individuals and policymakers alike to brace for the storm ahead and take proactive measures to mitigate its impact. Since 1971, when the U.S. abandoned the gold standard, there's been no compelling reason to uphold this law. However, what fewer people realize is that this law was actually repealed, making it legal once again to denominate debt contracts in gold. For the longest time, I was unaware of this legal provision in the United States, let alone any company actively utilizing it. However, my discovery of monetary metals revealed otherwise. Enterprises like Monetary Metals have ingeniously tapped into this legal framework, offering individuals a pathway to establish their personal gold standard. Through Monetary Metals, individuals can earn yields denominated, priced, and paid in gold. Their array of offerings includes leases offering returns ranging from 2 to 5% and bonds that have historically paid up to 19%. To illustrate, if you invest 100 ounces of gold at a 4% yield, you would end the year with 104 ounces of gold. Regardless of gold's market price fluctuations, your gold holdings continue to appreciate. Challenges facing the government The concerns extend beyond bank CEOs offloading shares, banks failing, and the Federal Reserve grappling with tough decisions. The government is also confronted with significant challenges. Currently, the total debt-to-GDP ratio stands at about 120%. To put this into perspective, it's akin to having a negative net worth where your debt surpasses your assets by 120%. Historically, the United States faced a similar situation during World War II. However, with the war's end came a cessation of government spending and borrowing, allowing the debt-to-GDP ratio to swiftly recover. However, unlike then, we're not amidst a major world conflict today. Rather, we're witnessing unchecked government spending, which has propelled the national debt to over $33 trillion. Just a decade ago, it was under $17 trillion, and the trend of escalating debt persists unabated, spanning decades. 
by the year 2033, conservatively estimating the national debt is projected to reach $66 trillion. While this figure may seem inconsequential at first glance, the implications are far-reaching, especially given the current interest rate environment. With interest rates higher than they've been in decades, every dollar repaid at 2 or 3% necessitates borrowing a new dollar at rates climbing towards 5% and beyond. The government's borrowing spree continues unabated, adding a staggering $1.7 trillion to the debt last year alone, despite the absence of a recession. As tax revenues dwindle, down 9% from the prior year, the government is compelled to borrow even more to sustain its operations. Consequently, interest payments on the national debt are on track to become the largest line item on the budget, surpassing $1 trillion by the end of 2024, an amount nearly equivalent to the entire national deficit. Yet the impending storm has yet to make landfall. Beyond the government's fiscal quagmire lies the Federal Reserve, caught between a rock and a hard place of its own making. If the Fed perceives significant economic distress, it may resort to lowering interest rates and restarting quantitative easing. However, such actions risk igniting inflation akin to the turmoil of the 1970s. Come 2024, the Fed faces a dilemma. Prioritize rescuing the economy from pain or combating inflation. With mandates to maintain stable prices and maximum employment, the Fed's decisions may exacerbate economic hardships or stoke inflationary pressures. Amidst these challenges, there remains hope. Every generation has weathered its economic crises, offering opportunities for individuals to safeguard and grow their wealth. As Warren Buffett aptly states, you have to buy when there's blood in the streets, even if it's your own. However, to capitalize on these opportunities, one must be prepared and equipped to act. Modern portfolio theory is obsolete, passive index investing is a bubble, and active investing, coupled with prudent risk management, is the way forward. The storm is on the horizon, so prepare your lifeboats now. As we conclude, I urge you to take the heat of the impending economic challenges and equip yourself with the knowledge and tools needed to navigate the storm ahead. If you found this video insightful and valuable, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support allows us to continue bringing you high-quality analysis and insight into the complex world of finance and economics. If you're feeling especially generous, you can also show your support by sending us a super thanks, which greatly helps us in producing more informative content for you. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and until next time, stay informed, stay prepared, and take proactive steps to safeguard your financial future.